And we are back after that uh, amazing report, and we have here uh, with us two distinguished guests. We have Dr. Ab uh, Dr. Abdurrahman uh, Khan, he's the consultant, and also uh, Dr. Layla Al Awadi, she's the Associated Researcher uh, Scientist. We're really happy to have you here today as guest in the studio. Thank you. Thank you. So at the beginning, would you please talk about uh, the uh, indoor uh, quality that you're having? Indoor air quality is yeah. very important which is usually ignored. Nobody really knows about the indoor air quality. Mm -hmm. It is when we live in a confined building and we make it airtight, yes. then indoor air quality becomes very important. Mm -hmm. What happens that if these pollutants which enters into the house, then the concentration indoor becomes 10 to 100 times more inside and it affects the health very severely, mm -hmm. the indoor air quality. Yes. So this workshop is the first one <coughs> in the Middle East mm -hmm. we are having to make people aware of indoor air quality and there is an associated problem with buildings. We call it sick building syndrome mm -hmm. where people suffer from the quality of the air which is indoor mm -hmm. and it is not good quality so it affects the health of the occupants mm -hmm. yes, yes. and their performance as well. Yes. And uh, uh, what, what you're having in this event, like, does it last for how many days and what about the sec uh, sections that's including it? It is in two days workshop. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, keynote speakers which are coming from one professor from Jap Japan, yeah, University yes, of Tokyo, Tokyo, and another one is from University of Howard mm -hmm. from US. Yes. Yes, so, uh, and also when it comes to uh, the KISR, which is Kuwait uh, Institute for Scientific uh, Research. So could you please talk about it and tell the audience about it? Kuwait Research Institute has been built in 1967. Yes. And in 1973, the Amir degree was announced that it is under the Council of Ministers. In 1981, it was made as independent body. Mm -hmm. It has got four research centers. One is Environment, Life Sciences Research Center. The other one is Energy and Building Research Center, Water Research Center, and Petroleum Research Center. Yes. There are two departments. One is Techno-Economics Department, and another one is Software Development Department. Yes. So this service, <coughs> the country's need and we provide services to all, all the local industries and the ministries whichever need so the research facilities are all done in this particular institute which is unique and it is the only institute in Kuwait yes yes that's really great what uh, lots of information you're getting about this institute here in Kuwait yes and also when it comes uh, for the institute like uh, why uh, is it organizing this event that you're talking about today indoor air quality becoming important as the population is growing cities are developing vertically now not horizontally because the space is becoming shorter and there are multi-story buildings coming up and in these, the indoor air quality becomes very important mm -hmm. as the buildings become large and large, shopping malls, everything becomes confined because of the harsh environment outside. Yes. Temperature goes very high, so we want to live comfortably mm -hmm. in very confined place, mm -hmm. which is either it is shopping malls, which is our commercial and recreational, or there are official buildings, there are institutes, there is <laughs> educational institutes which are again buildings all are enclosed and airtight mm -hmm. so the indoor air quality becomes very important in all these things. Yes, yes. And 90% uh, of the population they spend their time indoor. Mm -hmm. but it's very important that we maintain and to have a good environment healthy and a productive. Mm -hmm. We have to control the indoor pollution. Yes. Because here uh, Kuwaiti people also the others they reduce uh, the ventilation system the, uh, and also the uh, fresh air intake, they reduce it and, and sometimes completely they block the air which has come from outside to inside our building. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they feel hot. Mm -hmm. This is, but they're not aware that they are 
worse. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's they, like yeah, you're the isolating air, yourself. You are isolating yes. uh, the air. The air, it's, it's, uh, it's not uh, good quality. Mm -hmm. It can harm them because there is a lot of gases, particles, mm -hmm. uh, vapors. You will not see mm -hmm. it surround you. Mm -hmm. You have to have a good and uh, healthy environment. This is what uh, this workshop, it will gonna tell us about all these mm -hmm. things. And these people came from outside. They are scientists and experts. They will gonna, they are keynote speakers. They will gonna uh, tell us what is the latest technology, what is the technique in order to uh, measure the uh, indoor air, how to improve it, how to control the indoor pollution. Mm -hmm. so, time, yes, yeah. so the purpose behind uh, the workshop and the title that you've chosen is to spread awareness when it comes uh, to indoor quality. Yeah, it is awareness as well as the techniques which are developing in the new world. I mean, world. Yes. So they, to, they have to be adopted into our society to clean the air, make it happy living, healthy living, and productive living. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, would you like yeah. to add anything? Just to I want to mention that KISSER, it conducts uh, uh, a project, research pro uh, project in indoor during 15, last 15 years. Mm -hmm. We've done in the schools, we've done in, in oil sectors. Yes. But it's not first time. Yes. Uh, it was really crucial and we done in the school, we saw some uh, chemicals build up inside the school, mm -hmm. some uh, CO2 gas, it was built up, uh, children were there, dizzy, lazy, oh, yeah. Yes. All this, it's connected, related to the air condition, to ventilation system, yes. the type of air condition. Uh -huh, yes. the, this is why it's yes, very yes, important. It's, and it's really, uh, yes, as you said, it's really important, especially when it comes to uh, children and the school environment, because like parents are taking, t taking yes, them from, yes. like, from their own good environment uh, in order uh, for them to go to a better to environment. Yes. yes, so that's really amazing what you've been doing. And it's for 15 years, right? Yes, yes. Yes, Last it's a really long time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, and when it comes to the workshop also, would you please tell us about the topics that you're going to consider uh, talking about in the workshop? Mostly it will be the degree of comfort what is provided to the individuals who are occupant in the building. Mm -hmm. And then of course the pollutant levels, how we can minimize, how mm -hmm. we can uh, address to these problems, mm -hmm. especially indoor air quality. Yes, yes. And uh, as Laila mentioned yes. about schools and children performance, mm -hmm. it is affected because of the indoor air quality, you see. Mm -hmm. The children are no more children because children has to be active, yes. running around, playing, yes. fighting, all sorts of things. Yes, indeed, yes. But when their carbon dioxide level goes high, they become metabolic activity mm -hmm. increases, they become push and potatoes. They mm -hmm. sit down, they don't move. Yes, yes. So yes. that sort of thing is really affecting the population, you see, our younger generation. Mm -hmm. So if we do not address to this problem properly today, mm -hmm. Tomorrow's generation will be affected severely, <laughs> yes. and how the progress will be monitored, you see. Yes, that's a really actually a new point. We didn't know about that because of that increasing of that uh, uh, level of the CO2 you were talking about. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, it, it lowers the activity when it, it comes to... It lowers the activity, yeah. it increases the appetite. Mm -hmm. So you keep on eating, mm -hmm. and you become fat and fat and keep on sitting, you see. Uh -huh, okay. So a yeah. lot of problems in the houses are Mm -hmm. because women try to keep their shape mm -hmm. but the problem is due to indoor air quality yes, yes. they cannot maintain it you see so we don't blame now food anymore <laughs> so we are going to blame the co2 on this point <laughs> yes. uh, and these days because we have a large building and confined building a yes. tight building uh, the air uh, intake they uh, it's very less inside they reduce the ventilation system there is some chemicals that will gonna be uh, everywhere around you. You will not feel it. Mm -hmm. This is the long term. It will gonna cause asthma and very health effect. With these things we will gonna discuss it in workshop. Mm -hmm. What's the health risk mm -hmm. uh, of uh, these pollute indoor pollutants? Mm -hmm. As Laila uh, mentioned, there yes. are a lot of pollutants which are generated indoor. Yes. From our appliances, which we use daily. Mm -hmm. Either it is our television, whether it's our mobile, whether it is our music center, all these devices which are 
plastic and this, mm -hmm. there are fire retardant used into that one. Yes. Those are PBDEs and they continuously are, are emitted. Mm -hmm. And their concentration keeps on increasing as we close the ventilation system for energy conservation point of view and our comfort point of view. Mm -hmm. We reduce the fresh air intake, so the buildup of these chemicals is adversely affect the health. Yes. So okay. some pollutants are inside, some pollutants infiltrate from outside to inside, but then they keep on building up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because there is less ventilation. Yes, yes. So I think what you are providing now, especially to the audience that are watching, like very important information when it comes to uh, the air quality that we are having indoors and even outdoors. So at the end of uh, our interview with you, uh, uh, doctors, would you please talk about uh, like any uh, like last words you would like to tell the audience that are watching now, Hala Kuwait? Yes, but there are some emissions coming from our appliances, whether yes. it is our furniture, yes. our carpet, our curtains. There are they are emitting formaldehyde, yes. which is very common pollutant, which is usually known as methanol, mm -hmm. but its common name is formaldehyde. Okay, it is having throat cancer problem. Oh, it causes throat problem. cancer. Oh, okay. And all over the world, they are measuring these formaldehyde and we try to reduce the concentration mm -hmm. as minimum as possible yes. for the health point of view. Yes. Well, and we have a lot of nice information <laughs> we're getting from you, uh, really. But unfortunately, time isn't assessing us. So thank you very much, Dr. Abdurrahman and Leal, uh, Leila, for your uh, time, for having you here in Hala Kuwait. Hopefully to see thank you in an upcoming and Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we're going to head to our second report, which is about girls, uh, Kuwait girls uh, running marathons. So check that report and we'll be back. <laughs>